Hi, I'm Christy Hauer with Wisconsin Valley Library Service. In today's Digital Byte, we will be discussing three tools to assist with auditing your children's book collection from a diversity standpoint. In an earlier Digital Byte, we explored the importance of diversity in children's collections and how to look for diversity in children's books. What is a diversity audit? Well, it's a process that takes inventory of a collection and identifies areas that require further development. It helps you determine the percentage of your collection that represents a specific topic. You can conduct an audit for any dimension of diversity that you wanna focus on, such as race, religion, mental health issues, neurodiversity, or disability. You can choose to complete an audit with an automated tool or a do-it-yourself spreadsheet, or maybe even a combination of both. Doing an audit is important to your collection. It offers a comprehensive view by identifying the representation of different books or different groups in the books in your collection. Diversity audits provide concrete data on the representation within library collections, which can help librarians make informed decisions about purchasing, curating, and promoting books. It allows them to prioritize acquiring materials that fill gaps and better serve the community. The audit holds collection developers accountable to the community and the foundational ideals of librarianship. Assessing the collection helps recognize our own internal biases and privileges. And finally, an audit provides measurable facts and figures that can be used to explain purchasing de decisions and to discuss the collection in meaningful ways. The tool we'll take a look at first is an automated tool. It's available from Diverse Book Finder and it is free. Diverse Book Finder is a comprehensive database of children's picture books that feature diverse characters. It is 300 picture, 3,000 picture books, excuse me, that have been published since 2002. So let's take a look at this in real life. When we come to the website for Diverse Book Finder, I'm on the Collection Analysis Tool page. As we scroll down in the middle, we'll get to the Get Started section. This is where you create your account if you don't have one. And there's also a, a webinar with a demonstration if you would like to see the tool in greater detail. When you return to Diverse Book Finder after you make your account, you can use the login on the left of the screen. So in order to do your audit, you will need to export the collection that you're auditing from the integrated library system into an Excel file and then upload it into your account in Diverse Book Finder. And in just a minute or two, your report will be ready for you. So Diverse Book Finder makes several visuals and charts that help explain the audit and, and what elements are found through the audit. Um, Diverse Book Finder focuses quite heavily on multicultural representation, which you can see along the bottom of this chart where it has um, listed who is represented in the children's collection. So this chart here is actually from a real audit of a smaller library in Wisconsin, and you can see how many books have been found with each multicultural element through that audit. So the report also shows how your collection compares by cross-referencing the multicultural elements against character representation elements. Um, so this helps give um, some significance to the quality and depth of the diversity in your books, going a little bit deeper than just skin tone or color. So on this chart here, it's the same collection. You can see the multicultural elements are listed along the right side and along the bottom, are um, the, the book category groups of characters that Diverse Book Finder has created. Um, these, each of these nine are defined much more thoroughly in your online account. So for example, the Any Child character category, excuse me, refers to books that feature Black, Indigenous, people of color, in which race, ethnicity, tribal affiliation, 
culture, immigration, religious, or origin stories that are not central to that particular book that was audited. Whereas the Beautiful Life category shows you the books where those elements are central to the story. So this Beautiful Life category is a little bit more in depth where a diverse character is having diverse experiences that are meaningful to that culture. In this audit that we just did, how you read this chart is here, there are four Asian Pacific Islander or Asian American books that were found in the Beautiful Life category. Okay, the next tool we will take a look at is also automated. It's available from Teaching Books, which is in BadgerLink. So in this example, I used the same collection of books to audit that we just looked at in the audit from Diverse Book Finder. Let's take a look at this website. Once you're at Teaching Books, you go to the Collection Analysis Reports page. Again, you would need to um, export the collection that you're auditing from the integrated library system into a spreadsheet and use one of these options here to import the titles for your audit. So my example will show that we had used the ISBNs to obtain the audit information. It'll take about 10 minutes and your audit will be ready for you. And in teaching books, this is what the charts look like. So teaching books and diverse book finder have many categories they audit that are common and similar between the two databases like race, ethnicity, and religion. Teaching books also has some additional categories that they audit, such as gender, sexual orientation, or disabilities. So in teaching books, you can see the cultural experience details are listed here along the left with how many books were found for each of these categories in the audit. When you're in the online environment, you can click on any of these categories to get more information. So if we would click on women and girls, there are seven books that were audited to be found in this category online. It would take us to this screen. Here's the women and girls book from the collection that we audited. There are seven. It shows us each book that was found for our audit, there, there were actually seven. This is just a partial screenshot. In addition to this, along the top of the page, Teaching Books tells us that there are 120 resources that they've created that pertain or relate to these seven books. Some of those resources might include videos, perhaps author illustrator um, interviews. There are book readings, lesson plans, program guides, uh, bookmarks. So these are resources that you can use to share the collection with patrons, um, through your displays, your programming story times. These resources and teaching books are available to you anytime you log into teaching books. You do not need to do an audit in order to have access to those resources. And you can also click on any book cover in teaching books and it will take you to the resources that are directly related to that book. Okay, so the final tool for doing an audit is a manual audit, or maybe we like to call it a do-it-yourself audit. It will likely be done through an Excel spreadsheet or Google Sheet, some type of spreadsheet um, to house the information. So technically it would be free, however, it will require a substantial more amount of staff time and effort. So there might be a cost obviously related to that. The benefit of a manual or do-it-yourself audit is that you can customize the audit to track any topics that you want to audit. Now remember, you don't necessarily need to audit your entire children's collection at one time. You could do a chunk of it that could be representative of the whole. So I'm going to show you an example of um, a diversity template spreadsheet. It's available from the Connecticut State Library on their Creating Inclusive Collections webpage. If you scroll down, the diversity audit information is along the left. The diversity audit template uh, was their original template, and the updated one is the one I prefer at this point because um, it does the math for you, which I always think is a great, great way to go. Um, when I click on this link, it will bring me to this particular spreadsheet. Now again, 
It's a spreadsheet and you can customize this to fit your audit. Um, for each book in your collection that you're auditing, you would fill out a new line on this spreadsheet. So one line for one book. In the gray boxes, you would enter in the author and title into the spreadsheet. The green boxes pertain to the author. So you would select any of the elements um, from the, these categories that exist in that particular book. It might be more than one element and that's okay. The blue boxes pertain to the main character of the book that you are auditing. Again, select the category or categories that make sense for that particular book. And the orange boxes at the end have you select the genre of that particular book. So as you are using this, this spreadsheet and um, entering in the books that you're auditing, this first line up here where there, there are the zero percentages, this will auto calculate and adjust as you are entering in books to the spreadsheet. So that's handy that the math is being done for you. Um, if you are doing a manual spreadsheet or the math does not auto calculate this here, you could do the math manually and that would be the formula that you would use. So how, how do we assess books that haven't been published yet? to see if they have diversity elements or what diversity elements are available. Uh, a, a good first place is some professional reviews. I like to look at, at Kirkus. They're pretty consistent in um, including diversity details in their book reviews. It tends to be at the very end of the book review. Um, and Publishers Weekly and School Library Journal will include this information from time to time as well. Um, diverse award lists or notable book lists can be helpful as well uh, when looking for diverse elements. So one I wanted to show you that I really like is um, the CCBC, Cooperative Children's Book Center from UW-Madison. I am in their uh, book search section, and this is a database of thousands of books that they have evaluated and tracked different diverse elements, um, and actually a lot of different elements in their books. So we can use the diversity subject um, and click any category that you would like to look for. Um, these are the ones they have it broken down into. And when we search, it will search the CCBC holdings and give you a listing of titles that might fit that element. So this could be a place that you might find some ideas of items to add to your collection. On the WVLS, website on the children's services page so under resources the children or the teen page both of them have this drop down menu for awards lists this is another great place to start all sorts of great diverse and multicultural awards are out there and available also there's a section for readers advisory and collection development and reviews um, these are other places that you can search for diverse and multicultural suggestions as well for items that might fill gaps in your collection or develop an area that might benefit from a little boost right now. So this, this is a really big topic and there's not a specific checklist or one size fits all solution. There's probably not really even um, an ending to looking at our collections from a multicultural or diverse standpoint. Um, but even starting small or starting in one section and gaining some awareness and new tools to help you when looking at your collection is a good place to start. So please do feel free to contact me if this is a topic you'd like more information on or to discuss further, or if you'd like help in starting an audit. Thank you.